As you may have guessed, this tutorial is about creating envelope effects. What I want to do now is go ahead and select my text on my workspace. I want to go up to the effects menu, and from the effects menu you'll see an option for envelope. So I'll go ahead and make that selection, and you can see that your shortcut for envelope is Control F7. So once I select the envelope tool, notice how we have this docker on the right hand side. The first step is to click Add New, or of course you can go ahead and activate a preset. So if you click Add Preset, you can see some of the different envelope effects that are already available to you. And we can make a selection from one of those if it's relative to your project. So notice if I select one of these envelope effects, it will actually show the envelope. And we can go ahead and click Apply. And notice how our text is now fit with inside of that container. Go ahead and hit Control z to go back. What we're going to do is we're going to click Add New. And notice how we have this sort of white box, or excuse me, this uh, sort of blue dotted box that frames our text. Now you see that there's different control points in the, in the corners, in the middle uh, component uh, uh, of this uh, envelope, and those are just different control points. So I can click on one of those and make changes, and you'll see how it responds uh, in tandem. But what I want to do is I want to share a few different things with you. Notice there's these four little icons here. We can do an envelope with a straight line, we can do a single arc, we can do a double arc. So let's walk through these and kind of showcase the differences between the, the, the four. So what I'm going to do now is uh, we have the straight line selected, so notice how my envelope is going to be constrained within a straight line. Um, let me share with you a quick tip. Now if you hold down your shift key, I'm holding down my shift key and I'm just clicking on one point, notice how that constrains and creates an envelope uh, and it does it in an equal way so you don't have to you know, you know, gauge symmetry. Once again, just click on one point, hold down the shift key, and if I move up, notice how the bottom uh, will move down and uh, I can go ahead and just release and it will make that change. Now in contrast, if you hold down your control key, notice how that will constrain and go in the same direction. So I can go down, I can go up, just by holding down the control key. So shift and control will really help you, um, you know, position your envelope uh, so it's suitable. Now in contrast, that was the straight line of course, and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to clear the envelope. So notice where my mouse is hovering, I can click clear envelope and that's going to return me to my original. I'll go ahead and select Add New, and we'll go to the, uh, the single arc. So I'll go back, and same process. If I hold down Shift, I can create an arc. I'll really bow this out, hit Control z and I can go back and uh, hold down the uh, Control key, and I can create an, an upward arc, almost like a banner uh, type of, a, of an effect. Now, the uh, double arc is, of course, as the name implies, that's going to create a double arc effect. So if I hold down my... Um, uh, just click on a control point here, you see I can create a, uh, a double arc effect. Hold down shift, you have the same kind of control to really bow this out, say, in the center. So really just play around with this and, and dial in the right settings and effect for you. Uh, the one thing I do advise, once you do dial in the right effect and you're satisfied with the, the, the envelope, you can create your own presets. This is a really uh, slick way to, uh, to manage all of your, your you know, text effects. So if you create a really complex effect, you add you know, different textures and effects to this, you can save that and name it. So just save it as a CorelDRAW file, and give it a name, and maybe stow it away in a specific folder, and you can call these up uh, as needed. So here we have an envelope effect created, and you don't see my envelope active. And to, to re-see your envelope, um, what I can do now is I can click on the Shape tool. So anytime you have an active envelope, and if you click on the Shape tool, you can go back and make changes and edits to this. So if I want to change the stylings of this, or uh, I want to copy the envelope properties and apply it to something else, I have the opportunity to do this. Um, but one thing I want to point out is if you click on an envelope, and if you hit Control-Shift-T on your keyboard, so hold down Control-Shift and T, and you can see this Edit Text box will pop up. This is a really great feature. This will allow you to just basically go in and retype your text and maintain that same envelope effect. So if I go back and maybe we'll type in um, Washington and go ahead and click OK, notice how Washington goes right into that envelope and it keeps the same effect and uh, texture. So it's a great way to once again warehouse your own library of different effects and rather than creating these from scratch every single time you can just go and you know, take something that you've created in the past and uh, customize it to, to match your needs. And once again, that's still, if I go back to the Shape tool, our envelope is still preserved, which means I can go and make uh, modifications and edits uh, to this so it's appropriate. I can also hit Control c and Control v so I can copy that, and I have the opportunity to, to take maybe this uh, you know, top, uh, or excuse me, the bottom text, 
and once again go to control shift T I can make a change and we'll put the state champs click OK and you'll see how that's now positioned I can go back and maybe I, I, I'm going to choose to move this to the bottom to create sort of a frame for maybe a, an element of clip art so you can see really how easy it is to, uh, to create those envelopes and there's really no one right way to do this uh, but I also want to point this out if you are editing the text within your design and if I make this really long so state champs your envelope serves as a container meaning uh, your text will never go beyond that container that you have so if you put a really long path of text notice how it squeezed it into our original shape of the envelope so it's a great way to really control the area that you're going to work in is by creating an envelope in fact this is a really great tip when working with uh, player names and numbers you know if you have uh, you know a series of maybe 70 names to output and you take the longest name and you create an envelope based on that name you'll know that you're never going to go beyond your maximum and printable area so it's you you're using it as a template to make certain that you're really constraining all of the text uh, accordingly